Hello, welcome to Wally Bar, and today I'm doing the mortises to go on the end of these little spindles. Only 25 by 40 mil spindles, so it's like inch by inch halfish, ish about that sort of size. So the typical French size spindles, or balancers or balustrades, whatever you'd like to call them. But I'm using my Festool Domino Dowler, the DF700, this little machine here, which I've done a few other videos on this machine, as you probably are aware, if you're a regular visitor. Oh yeah, while you're here, why don't you click like and subscribe, and maybe you'll get the little bell icon, because then you get a warm fuzzy feeling in your pocket, and that'll be me uploading another video. So, basically, I've been machining up uh, some oak. I ain't machined that up yet, so it's just been cut to length, what have you. And I've got a few over here for which I've actually to size and done all the took the arises off and what have you sort of little um eighth round over on the corners but when you want to put the mortises in the end if you're using your festival domino for that purpose you've got to try and hold the thing i was just going to be doing that all over the place when you know interviews rubber mats or whatever they'll still want to move because you're pushing on it you know you, you get your machine and you're pushing on the end so what i did is i made this little jig here it's like a little holding device which I've got in the vice at the moment, or you can clamp it down to the um, to the bench. But all you do is you literally slide it into the slot, and at the back there it holds it in place, and there's a stop in there as well, so I can't go all the way through. And I don't matter if it's floating over the end there, so there's no obstruction then. And you can literally just slide it in, do your mortars on the end, spin it round, and do the mortars on the other end, and it works really well like I showed you a minute ago. So, sometimes it's a good idea to make yourself a little jig up. If you're doing a repetitive task to do a particular job, it does save time. You might think, oh, I can't be bothered to make it. And then you are um, fumbling about trying to do the job and you're struggling and it takes you twice as long because your fingers and thumbs. So it's a good idea to make yourself some jigs. You know, you can keep them for another time as well. So anyway, thank you for watching my little video. And it is a little short video, and I'm not going to edit it again because I just haven't got the time at the moment. I'm just so busy. Mm. So if you'd be most kind, then click like and subscribe, and maybe give the little bell icon because then you get a warm, fuzzy feeling in your pocket. It'll be me uploading another video, and I know you'd be excited about that. Anyway, thank you for watching. <sighs> Let's get, do a bit more work now.